In this video we're going to look at moving and rotating cabinets in project mode. Let's first of all view this project in plan view. Now you can use the clipping function to position your cabinet. Let's just drop a model in right now and clip it to the wall. But this video is going to concentrate on some other ways to move your cabinet. Okay so this cabinet's come in face down, the front is face down on the screen. We're going to add a permanent dimension as well to the project. From the cabinet to this right hand wall. I'm going to right click here and make that permanent. OK, to access the move and rotate features, click on the cabinet, then right click. We have move selection, rotate selection and turn round. Let's go to move selection first. There are a lot of options here that allow you to fine tune how you move a cabinet, but it's best to just stick with the, the move parameters here. The X parameter allows you to move the cabinet left and right. Before we make the change, let's note that we've got 2800 millimeters approximately as the distance away from the wall. Let's move it to the right, 200 millimeters. We can see that that's, that distance has changed that exact amount. Now just a quick word, in here we have these X, Y and Z positions. You can adjust these. These are coordinates based on the position in the project. It's a little bit more complicated to do it this way. We prefer to use the method we're showing you now. OK, we've also got inside the move selection a Y parameter. This will move the cabinet up and down the screen. Let's put in minus 200 millimetres. The cabinet's now moved away from the wall by that amount. Let's move it back. Now to show you the Z parameter, we're going to change the view angle to front on. Right click on the model and put in 200 millimeters for the Z coordinate. This has moved the model off the floor. You can use this, for example, if you're placing raised kitchen wall cabinets in your project. However, we prefer to use a virtual plinth. We think it's less error prone. I'm going to move this cabinet back down. And let's go back into the plan view. So the next option you've got is rotate selection. You can decide here which point of your cabinet you're going to rotate around. Let's select this point here, which is this point here on the model. You have an absolute angle you can rotate around. Absolute zero relates to this line left to right across the screen. Again, it tends to be easier just to use the relative angle, which defines how far you're rotating the cabinet from whatever position it's already in. Let's move it through minus 90 degrees, which rotates it clockwise. Now you've also got the option of a dynamic rotation feature. If you click on the model and then go to the corner, you'll see a rotation arrow appear. Click again and it will go red. Now you're in rotation mode and you can just drag the model around. This is only really helpful if you have a wall to clip onto. Otherwise you can't really control exactly where you're rotating to, but it works well with the clip function. Just to give you an example of that, let's adjust the wall. Let's put an unusual angle on it. I'm going to move the model, clip it on the left to the wall, enter rotation mode and drag it round so it clips again onto this angled wall. So that works very well. Let's just click outside that. Now the final option is turn around. A nice simple feature which just flips the model through 180 degrees without moving it anywhere. Let's do that now. So the front of the model is now facing the wall. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.